Hello fellow beings and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. This is the fifth episode and today we're going to expand into the farmlands of Gondor. We're going to yeah, go into the fiefdoms and pay them a handy surprise. A handy surprise consisting of Saruman and a full army. Um we are actually at the end turn. I actually defeated the army which was here the last episode. And most of this episode, this turn is actually over. So let's just end the turn. Now I have a lot of excellent news of course. Uh, we have gained a lot of subscribers lately so I'm very thankful for that. Welcome to all of you which is new on the channel. Really looking forward to keep posting videos. And soon we will of course start a new campaign besides uh, the Isengard campaign. And so far it looks like it's going to be the Orcs of Gundabad, which is voted um, the favorite so far. You can go vote on the third episode of the Isengard campaign. There's a vote um, when you watch the video. Um, so definitely go and vote and make it so that you, uh, the faction you want might be able to... Um, might be able to win. Sturluza Khan was, was actually lost there, that's quite weird. Uh, we sent a spy down here and we actually saw that Pelagi is completely left alone. So it wouldn't really be a problem to try and go for it right, right away actually. Let's get the temple of Melkor. Um, yeah, we're all, already building it over here. Um, because we're having this reinforcement army and Urskol as well will be here in two, one or two turns. So we should be quite capable of just sending Saruman south. Which is very good news. Uh, over here we have a few units. I think we should send these works as well. We just really want to keep these armies streaming down. And in not too long we can actually recruit units here ourselves. Um, we'll be able to recruit Berserkers right away, which is very, very nice. Um, and when the Bark Savant hits, we'll be able to recruit a lot of more other units as well. Let's actually bring him all the way down here. Uh, let's try to build a... Oh yeah, we're already building a watch tower. Let's just go straight for Pelagir. We could probably have left a few units over here actually, but in the fort to save some money. That's my mistake. Uh, over on the west front though, uh, Captain Aragon. We're going to push with Uglak and take out uh, Karas and then gift it to Dunland. Because we want them to uh, work as a buffer against um, Edenweith. Because we want to focus on Gondor instead. Uh, let's just push straight for them. Straight for them. They actually have the Gardens of Edenweith in this army, which is their best javelin unit. They have a missile attack of 10. That's very good. Um, I'm just going to fight this off camera. If you want to see any of the units, just take uh, go and watch my Gondorian campaign. There we slaughter all of any of the um, So we have already portrayed these units uh, a lot. So I just really want to uh, just steamroll these guys and uh, continue with the campaign. So I will be right back. We got them. Let's go. Wasn't too bad of a battle. But those Javis actually got some uh, hits in. The archers and Javs just kept running. So it was kind of hard on catching them. But it turned out okay. We're not uh, too far off uh, Karas now. I don't think NOF can stand up with uh, a lot of resistance at the moment. Or they might of course. But uh, this army here is uh, they're ready for most armies. Uh, let's actually, yeah, this army we definitely want off the ground, however, oh yeah, oh Jesus, let's just take this guy out, there we go, this army is, yeah, they don't even have a proper general, we should be able to take them out quite handily. River Archers. They do have a few solid units. 
but I think we should be able to take them out. They do have some nice cow though. But uh, I will fight this off camera as well. Just don't think it's uh, very necessary to show it. We're just going to take down the general quite quickly and we should be fine. So I will see you after the battle. We are crushing them utterly. We only lost 6%. And this kind of reminds me that Enerwath, they are really pathetic against Isengard because Enerwath kind of rely on their heavy numbers. So against Gondor, they're, like, they're still crappy, but at least they can yield some damage. But against um, Isengard, Isengard do have the numbers and they have superior units. So we almost 140 and kill 1560. So using Isengard against the Enoath is going to be very effective. So we could also try to be aggressive against Enoath and just capture a lot of the west around here, up to the river. We are of course going to border a lot of new factions then. On the other hand, if we want to acquire the ring, we definitely need to expand our border because it might very well be to the north or to the west that the ring will pop up. This is excellent though. I'm going to take out Karast um, in two turns. We do need to be careful over here though. Uh, the granic change would actually be quite alright, to be honest. Do we have enough units here? Yeah, we definitely do. I don't think we need to pop up more units here just yet. Uh, we're getting one more space, so we can recruit one more unit here, actually. Let's go for them. And that probably makes it... Yeah, we can still afford it. Let's go for it. We should also... Actually, we should also get the slave quarters here. I'm going to save up for that. Um, doing all right here. This army is coming in. But should we attack uh, Karandros though? I'm going to let Mordor keep sieging this place out for a bit. Let's hope uh, Gondor actually recruit uh, some units. If they decide to attack Urbars, we should be fine. We do have these guys. And Mordor holds uh, Henetarnun. And also the Ethel. The thing with expanding down here is that we're really going to get some difficulties with Harad and such uh, when Mordor attacks us. We're basically going to be a gun and Orcus worse off the normal Gondor. And uh, but I think it, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we can't move him for another two turns. Okay, but he will. He will get there. Let's end the turn. It was nice to get rid of some scum. Clans of NOI is not performing anything. Mordor is not yet besieging anything over here. Let's see what Gondor does. Oh yes, finally they're meeting some rebel armies over there. Let's see what will happen then. I don't know, I'm independent. Uh, we should really get rid of that army. My Eminem, he's coming too late. It's over for Pelagir for now. Kai Raiders. Slave Quarters and Slave Quarters, it looks like. Uh, yeah, we, we received it here and... Where else? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Let's see if we, we do not have any money to build right now. Uh, let's get these guys closer though. These guys will be a garrison even though we won't earn any money on it. I think it's still worth it. Just in case. Oh wow. When Urskull comes we're going to besiege um, Western Oskelet or Kyrandros. I think Western Oskelet. Um, on the other hand, that's keeping Mother busy in two places. Let's definitely take out Pelaga though. Uh, I can just auto resolve that. <laughs> Eight lost. Uh, we're going to sack. We need the money. I should repair this. Let's do low tax rate. And let's build a shrine. Mm, yeah, that's fine. 
my man. Uh, let's. I don't think we're going to take the settlement over here. Oh, Utu Tau actually need some more units now. Yeah, they're fine now. And we have a more proper garrison incoming, definitely. Still a very long time until we can recruit units, both of these places. Yeah. Was it here that we actually finished two units now? Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see how much. Oh, we're already making a lot more money. Uh, we could. Get ready for fighting. Let's start to besiege. Can get some cell sources as well. I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh jeez, they have a large army now. Hopefully they could actually attack us. Oh no, that's just the remnants of the last army actually. Looks like Gondor isn't that aggressive over here. I don't know why. Let's use uh, our spy. Brethil is a new capital. Let's see how they're doing at Fanyuland. Captain Beren. Okay. That's nice. We're not going to push for Fanyulon just yet, and we're going to border Dol Amaroth and such. Uh, we might actually just keep ourselves on this side. On the other hand, uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to decide because we have so few units and like we haven't expanded over here either. It's kind of. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to decide. We'll have to see what will happen the next turn. These guys are just still on their way. Uh, these guys will retrain now. Grima, you're going to talk with the Dun Landings. I guess we should... Yeah, we should move uh, at least move these guys over to this fort. These guys will move down here. And yeah, we need some more units. Let's get these units. We'll have some more money for the next turn. The turning point will, will be definitely when we get the culture needed in these places. But just having those two Gondorian settlements um, dividing us from Mordor is really, really good actually. So we might just let the Mordor keep sieging at those places and eventually they will take them. But it will slow their uh, expansion down by quite a bit, I think. We should move... No, that's fine, actually. But yeah, we should recruit more units. We need more units um, in Gondor. Klarger is now repaired. Lebanon Fall. Oh, yes, the clans of Enelwight are now at war with Dunland. That's actually really good. And that kind of makes me want to go for... Um, go for Enuaitha instead of just gifting away because I think yeah I do really think so uh, they do have a lot of units coming around here I think we should just can we attack this guy and make the whole garrison sally out that would be something uh, what does he have just mood keepers all right yeah because these guys will probably help if we attack Donny High. Um, but it might be more worthwhile to go for Enoath, um and expand ourselves quite grandly, quite quickly. Get ready for no here. 
Yeah, we we'll retrain those in time. Still on their way. Let's see, they didn't actually recruit any units, neither did they there. That's kind of weird to be honest. Okay, let's uh, get this guy in. He's actually having free upkeep, that's nice. And let's just bring a few more units down here. That's bringing us some more coins as well. Hmm. All right, let's uh, take Mayaman. Yeah, he won't really be a bother. And Halvan. Now I have proper guys in here to um, reinforce this place. That's nice. And this guy will just work as a garrison for Urburs. Now let's get more units. We'll need every unit we can get. Just need to fill up the place around, um, and we can actually get more units here for a garrison. That would also be useful, making no, it uh, less to me. likely that um, other factions. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's just let's try to make. Ah, oh, they didn't actually sell out. That's stupid. I was hoping it would work. But they have a lot fewer men than they actually do. Then, I, then it actually looks like they have. Ah, oh, Jesus! I hope the is going down there. Argeleb. They are building up a lot of troops in Brethil, though, because it's their capital. I'm just going to fight this uh, battle of camera, and I'll be right back. They are done for. We lost 55, killed 711. The good thing about meeting such small armies when you have a large army is just surround your surround the units. It's really easy actually. And especially when you're using a powerful general like Saruman and you have berserkers which scare off units. It's really easy to just make them route very quickly. Of course that's a bit harder when they have a general, but you will still be able to surround them and kill them off quite quickly. And then we'll get a very nice trade. There we go. Yeah, Pelargus left kind of... Let's leave one more unit there. And Saruman. Yeah, I don't see any reason for you to not hit Brethil. Except for um, starting to border Joel Amorth and such. I think we're just going to try to bet on that Moro is not going to attack us just yet. Uh, if we just keep a solid garrison here at most times it should be alright. And if we keep recruiting units this way it should also be fine. So let's just head for Argeleb and then take out Brethil. We'll have to rename this place after the episode. Is there any buildings we could take down? Not really. These are very good cities though, they will develop and become very good. Let's see, did we, yeah we start, restarted the siege this turn. Grima, almost at Dunland, we'll just make him stay there for now. Now that Dunland will as well will start hitting on Enewath, it should be worthwhile to go for him. But we'll have to see about it guys, we'll have to see about it. We are having very many enemies now, and it could potentially become more. Lorien and Mordor is potential enemies, as well as Dol Amroth and uh, Harad. And harder than I'm. It looks like Dol Amroth still have a, quite a nice grip on um, the Haradrim. And we're just not going to enter the affairs of Dol Amroth just yet. 
Mother will just keep searching this place out. I don't know when they will be able to take them though. We'll just let them and when they finally take it we might attack them. But this really... Um, it really depends on what kind of settlements we have taken at the time given. Yeah, they're just streaming in with units. The thing is, we could actually take Brethel in one turn, but then Pelagius left kind of open. Skilath under attack, mission failed. Urburs, finally, we have the... Yeah, it will go very much quicker from this point on. Blacksmith would definitely be worthwhile here, uh, but now let's get some more units instead. Still can't recruit anything here. Still going to be quite a while. Can recruit more here as well. Not really. Now we're making solid money. Um, we only have to. Yeah, okay. Let's just. Um, but this guy will probably in interfere with those guys. We did. Didn't we make it possible to build a catapult here somewhere? Oh, I thought we would be able to get a catapult from this place. They do have reinforcements coming in now. Just really need to think about how I'm going to spend the money this turn. Let's find out where it's necessary. Getting some more armor here would be nice. Uh, but this place could... Yeah, they do have some nice scars now. Let's get some wargs going from this place as well, perhaps. But it's not really on our priority list right now. No sleeping here. Let's get the blacksmith. We do have that extra cash. And I do, th I do really think we should give, uh, give Karas to Dunland and just keep plunging into here so that our armies can meet around this area. We really, that would be awesome actually. Let's just check. Yeah, we're going to lose so many units in such a battle. Four turns. Let's just keep sieging them and they'll probably attack us with a lot of armies. And then we could take out all of those armies in one blow. And meanwhile, Baratai, Arodir, yeah, they do have some solid uh, armies here, but they completely emptied uh, Brethil now. These guys haven't really trained any new units, but they're still able to hold off these modern armies. It's probably because they have a general, that's my guess. Um... Okay, let's just get rid of these armies. Now this guy can't move. Now this guy... I will just fight this battle off camera and then I'll take breath in. There we go. Wargs are just eating some men. That's it. Two lost. 355 kill. The good thing about... Um, like I already mentioned that you can surround units, but you're also getting money when you kill off these armies, 400 at least I think. I don't really know the rule for it, but you sack their camp and you get some money. So it's very useful if you are, if you, if you have a really large army, just do a lot of battles, get money, and you'll also lose a lot of units, so you'll get a better um, or more uh, more income.
we can't actually bring down Brethil this turn. We'll be able to do it the next turn though. I'm actually thinking sending down two units here. Just making it a little bit more reinforced. Yeah, now we have even more money. Uh, we could potentially go, let's see how much this will bring us. It's quite good, but uh, nah, it should probably s save up some money for some mines. Or we could go for a blacksmith here. Um, It would actually be useful to be able to recruit a bit more than just two units here, so I'm going to go for slave quarters. That's it now. We can take out this army now. Let's, yeah, the plan was to wait. Okay, we're going to wait a bit. And we should just finish the turn. That one Gondorian army to the east of uh, Salman can't move because we attacked him and he used all his movement points. Ah yes, they're going for the trap. Yeah, now they suddenly have a very large army. But it will be an, in an interesting battle. And we'll earn some more money after we have gotten rid of a few of these units and we are going to capture Karas as well and we have a lot of archer in this army so it's going to be a nice battle let's just see what the difference they got the river scouts let's get, bring down those those got the anyway hunters and you are of course the mood keepers all right uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to fight this battle of camera as well I just don't think anyway is so interesting Please leave some comments if you want to see these NYF battles. But I have just covered so much of the NYF battles in my Gondorian campaign. They were crushed but some of their units escaped so it will re remain to see if they will, um, if we will take Karas or not. Our works have done excellent work though, captured so many troops. It's been a nice uh, ride. Let's just take this last one. And that should be it. 656 lost, 2,182 killed. They did lose around 3,000 soldiers though, because we captured 700 with our works, and they also did the best. Good job. We did kill all their generals, so it should make us get Karas, but we'll, it remains to be seen. It was a really stupid cost that cost us on, like, um, on war with the NWF. They just attacked with three units. Uh, a cast we had only one unit in. It was really stupid. Let's execute them all. Yeah, I think we'll actually get Karas. Let's uh, just sack the settlement. Wow, it actually does make a lot of money. It might be useful. Oh yes, they're coming up here. They're surrounding Saruman completely. Let's see what happens this turn. There we go. Oh, we're making so much money now. Oh, we'll be rewarded with our best, the best unit um, possible if we take out um, Brethil. And that's just according to our plan anyways. Let's get the shrine of Melkor. How much? 19, yeah. I should just not watch this for a while, to be honest. Let's uh, bring this, these two units down here. Come and get me, you coward. I will only 
It's just not mere scam. They have it up, oh, but half completely. Jesus. I'm going to exterminate this place actually. Uh, because we want the culture to be a bit more in our favor. <laughs> a lot of the buildings got hurt. Let's see, our culture is already... No, it's only 4%. It didn't work out uh, that well, actually. Let's get the Shrine of Melkor. Or should we actually just leave this place? Ready. Hurry up. This way. Like, they don't really... Can't, they can't really put up a fight. Uh, however... We just don't have the troops. I think we're going to gift away Kalas actually. Could potentially bring down a lot of uh, buildings as well. Wow, this is actually very nice. Uh, they have upgraded very good. But I think we can gift it to Dunman actually. We'll make them pay for it all. Their wealth is modest, that's really good. Um, give region. Oh, wow, look at all those names. Karas. Um, and you will give us... 10,000, is that? Wow, Jesus, they have the money. That's so excellent. And they will get the garrison. Let's just keep going with this army. Uh, actually, we have to take out Gindo. Um, oh, we got the Berserkers for um, taking down um, Berethil. That's awesome. We'll be able to get another one in just a turn. Now we have a lot of money because of that trade. So I think we should make a second army and attack in now. We'll push with Uglock here and we'll make a second army going in here. They might lose it though, Dunland, but um, they could probably hold it for a little while. Let's just keep them units uh, rolling and also uh, there's not really much to build over in these places. Let's uh, build some. Oh wow, Mother is closing up. This is not good. Let's just build a few more units just in case they decide to attack us stupidly. That would be so stupid. And that's definitely not what we want right now. We have more units incoming though. That's excellent. Actually, bring some archers. It's not long till this place can upgrade. Let's get a hunting hut. Let's get more units. Two hundred seventy-five more. Uh, that's not really worth it. Let's just build another regular mine in somewhere else. Just let's just build it over here instead. How much will this give us? We give us two percent more. No, let's not do it. Let's just save some money actually, uh, or this will probably give us, it will make this settlement closer to upgrading, so let's go for it. Uh, let's recruit two more units here. Let's send out armies. Let's get two wargs here. 
that is our money spent. I think it's all it's wisely spent as well. Now let's see over here though. We should get rid of these armies one by one. That will give us some more income. But we now actually we're we're actually bordering the Lamoroth now. It's just Uglock isn't close enough. And we still border Enoath on this uh, half. However, he could just plunge straight through the land. No, we definitely need to... Gind we will take with another army, but... Um, and we actually need a proper general for that purpose. Where is uh, Lurch now? Not, oh yeah, he's uh, over here, of course. We need another general. How long is it until we can get another one? 18 turns. We might have to adopt anyone. We can we can actually adopt a general. We can uh, just put this uh, large army together, capture Gind, and then get a general for it. That's probably nice. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Now I will just uh, finish off a few armies here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go for. These guys are probably going to attack Pelar here. I'll just defeat army after army and I'll I'll be right back after I've defeated all of these armies. And there they all go. We lost like 1 in 20 men uh, with the other armies. And we actually sold uh, some captives. We got like 2500 for some crap units. And I thought why not. I think Gondor is actually capable of just um, buying your troops most likely and most often. So it might actually be worthwhile to just sell them because uh, for that money we're getting we can recruit so many units. So let's ransom these guys. Yeah, they're just accepting most ransoms. So here, this is the first army, this is the second army. Like, got like 3000 on them alone. Uh, breath in though. I am tempted to just leave it be. Uh, I think we're actually going to let them take it back. Do we have a diplomat around here? Let's just have one on this side as well. Could probably be useful. Um, Could sell it to. Uh, could sell it to Gondor. No, not sell it. That's kind of cheating. Uh, let's just uh, leave the city. We're just going to return, I think. Uh, I don't think we are capable of starting to expand into here just yet. Simply because the Amroth is going to interfere with our interests. And we have two sides here that we have to keep watch on. And of course we have this army. I think we are already dealing with enough. So let's just finish the turn. We can still get some more... We can actually... Train, oh yeah. Oh, we actually need to uh, retrain these guys in another place. Let's uh, bring them down here. We're just going to cross our fingers that Grishna doesn't attack. If they were to attack now, it would mean uh, trouble, definitely. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, we already spent so much money in this turn, didn't we? Because we sold uh, Karas. But we could potentially build something up here, though. Let's get the uh, Warrior Breeder. And let's finish the turn. Let's cross our fingers. Mordor, just don't attack us now. Come on. B 
be interesting to see now. Yes, they didn't. Excellent. That's so important. Oh, they're going to start sieging out our fort over here. We might um, take Uglock back and take out Gind first. I think that's uh, a bit smarter, perhaps. Ara the Naim is here. I wonder what they want though. They're just trying to uh, set. Um, I don't even remember the name. Wow, the ring is over here. It's just too far for us at the moment. Western Moria besieged. Wow. The goblins of Moria have, in general, hobbitten. Wow, it's just too far, sadly. Dwarves of Khazadum and Goblins of Moria are now at war. And that's... I feel like they came at war a bit late, I'm not sure. Alright, um... Let's just move him the next turn. Kalimir the Honest. They suddenly have a large army over here. I have no idea where that came from. Let's just get it over here though. These guys could stay in here. Can we move out lurks? We can actually move out lurks. Let's put lurks there. Will this guy get free upkeep here? He will, that's excellent. He's actually bringing down the uh, culture or something. I mean the... Um, uh, I can't really... Uh, the, the public order. Let's have it in here instead. Because it's bringing the place down. Now we have a proper general in uh, Urburs, and we have a diplomat here as well. Just want to keep him around. Actually, this general would be very useful in Pelagir, so we're going to send him down towards Pelagir. Let's see how large this army is. Yeah, it's quite large. We're getting reinforcements here though. Just going to wait a little bit with that battle. We can actually get a few more reinforcements from here as well. That was a large army. Let's just take in now. Things can only get better between. Not earning so much now. Let's get more wargs here. Uh, still so long. Utu Tao. We're not even gaining population. Let's get a hunting hut. Pelagir, soon get that. Oh, jeez. That was not meant to happen. Um, yeah. I guess it's fine though. We didn't have much to do for the remaining of the turn. Now Harad is really hitting on Gondor down there as well. This is just nice. I don't know why they haven't taken Brethil just yet. Should probably do it now. Yeah, they're taking it now. There we go. 
you're now kind of pinned in between us on two sides actually. I don't know, I'm still trying to bribe, I think. It looks like a Gondoran army is right at Pelagir, so we'll send some reinforcements. Dolgul Tor is under siege. Adaldir, yeah. Karandros, Oskilia, they're both under attack. That's just nice. Uh, oh wow, Bormir is probably going down this turn. Yeah, both these settlements should be captured now. Got some nice recruit recruitment going on. Slave waters, Rethil. Let's send this guy down. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. Objective. Come get ready for fighting. Calm is not doing anything at the moment though. We're kind of safe. Get ready for fight. Oh. Or. Come on. No sleeping here. Head your feet up. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Don't know where this is army is headed. It's kind of scary. Get ready for fighting. Objective. It's for tours. Can't even train the wargs here. Let's get these wargs going down. Let's send the armor piercing units down as well. The guy actually bothered, buggered off. That's nice. Oh yeah, we'll be able to establish two large armies here. Just going to let both of these armies just be able to participate in the battle. Yes, Dunland is now sending units down here, that's so nice. Okay, and you guys. You're fine as you stand. You guys could probably go here. That would be quite nice, actually. We can now get more berserks. We're going to re retrain those. And this foundry will be done. Let's get the leather tanner there for some more money. We're really just waiting for this culture around in these settlements. It's kind of boring, but it's just how it is. Um, I don't really want to send more units down. I'm just kind of worried about Kalamir to be honest. Let's ask under for a ceasefire. This had best be no, they would never do that. Good day to you. Without question, my lord. I'm just really curious about what to do here. Ugluck is still so far away from pushing for real on this side. And Saruman alone? Like, he's getting the reinforcements though. But it will just take so long to get them all the way around here. And our culture is still so far behind most places. Like here's the best I think, 21%. We need 33 and then there will still be a couple of turns. The thing about attacking Mordor is that our culture will be fine from the moment we take out those places because it's the same culture. So in that manner it's very useful. I just think we'll have to deal with this first. And he's looking very eager to attack Oilburst. 
I think I'm just going to see how large is the diamond. Yeah, it's quite large. I think I'm just going to stand them on the bridge and I'll put a couple of units. Uh, let's see who got the most, who costs the most. most. Wargs. That will save us. We're actually losing money now. Oh, it's because over here. We'll take in and we'll quickly get rid of some more units there as well. Could potentially send these guys out here, but I'm pretty certain they would attack if so. going to send them to the fort. Oh Jesus. Alright, it will be fine. It's one turn. Let's bring this down. I'm going to fight this battle of camera and I'll be right back. This is just a slaughter. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. They just all went up inside the town center and we're just peppering them down with hundreds of arrows. We're going to get so much experience on our arches. Crossbow themselves. They're probably getting so many kills. It will be quite easy to just swarm them in the end now. We can even just start preparing for such an event. Let's just bring all our berserkers in. It's only the crossbows left now. Let's see how effective they are. kills yeah let's just rush in stop what you're doing you guys just hit something you as well just hit something just hit something go in that's our luck And this will be a nice capture indeed. So again, like there's a lot of uh, villages which is like this. You just really want to put your arches up here and just fire down and they yeah, will just stuck to the to the town center. It's it's quite stupid. Here we go, here's Lurts. Now I will just push, uh, I will probably push straight against Gondor now. Uh, there could po possibly be an NOF settlement that we would want to take out as well and give to Dunland. We'll have to take a look about it. There he goes at least. Let's just occupy. Let's build that shrine. We can get some nice mines here as well. Um, how far? Yeah, you can't really move a lot, can you? There is another army just around here somewhere. So we could just wait for him, to be honest. Oh yeah, let's just try to build a watch. We can't really construct our watchtower right here. Alright, but we're now making money again. Because we captured that settlement. That's nice. Yeah, I'm tempted to go for a temple here. Or we would want to recruit more, actually. No, let's get the temple. We already have the recruiting capabilities over here. We're going to retrain a, a few units here. And where is this 
war units. They can't retrain just yet. They will be able to retrain in one turn, so that's fine. Let's get some more armor here. Let's get them down there. You guys will stay here. Yeah, things are starting to look very nice. Um, anything else? Yeah, let's retrain those berserkers. Let's end the turn. It'll be interesting to see what uh, Gondor does with their large army. Let's hope they can use it on Mordor though. That would be the most profitable for us. And we have to keep a watch for that um, lone mother army in our lands. We're going to siege out Pelargir. We are having reinforcements. So that shouldn't be a worry. Let's move our spy a bit more to the east, perhaps. It's really just like 10 turns until the barracks are went now. That's really uh, encouraging. Settlement besieged. Finastruinen assaulted. Right in Urskulagurs. Oh wow, Bormir is all by himself up here. I do not know what he's doing. He's probably going to face this army. Oh jeez, if they start attacking me there. I'm going to cry. Let's move. Uh, can we move out these guys over here? Yeah. They have Kara Andros once again. Kalamir is now... Oh yeah, that's really good for us actually. Yeah, we should be able to handle that. Jesus! That was not supposed to happen. But now it looks like we might lose Pelager. Oh, uh, Jesus. It really depends on what kind of units they have though. Might be able to hold them off. Now I got the Foundry in Isengard. But yeah, we can't actually help from this side. That's so stupid. Is now the time to take on Kyra Andros though? No, let, let them defend. Oh yeah, they're coming up with a large army, that's perfect. Boromir, he is the steward now. We could very much assassinate him. Going to leave the western border for a little bit. We're sending this army, no big threat there. Reinforcements is still coming in. So nice. Not so long now. Get ready, come and get get, we'll defeat this army. And then yeah, they're still holding the same units here. We'll probably head out for this settlement, then gift it to um, to Dunland. Okay, so we'll take out that army. I'm going to do it now, I'm just going to... We can't actually get a better uh, better armor, so that's nice, we have reached the maximum. Uh... Let's get more units. Just keep this fort stacked, it's really useful. Oh, Mother actually took Thirit Anduin. That's going to be interesting. But I think they're going to lose it to Lothlorien. We still have these guys as well. It's really hard to know what to do now. Because a misstep now would be so catastrophic. 
catastrophal, catastrophical. I don't know the word. It would be a it would be a catastrophe. Can take out Pelager. Can take it back in one turn. But let's just not build this. Actually, it's probably not going to finish. I think I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to go for Kyle Andros. Do you have lots of guys here which can aid in that assault? You're going to leave the ballista down here actually. Let's wait and see what Mother does. Uh, if they start sieging it out, we'll, we'll still be able to take it out right after them. I'm just going to wait here. Uh, these units will be left in this fort for now. Ushko will try to take out Arodir. Uh, I think we're going to lose Plager, but I think it might not really depend. Like, it doesn't really matter that much, I think. I think it's better to just have our settlements up here, even though we bother Mordor. It's, it's just like, there's no answer what to do now, it's kind of hard. Um, just have to pretend what's going to happen and we'll see about it. But this episode is about to end. I will defeat this army off. Um, no fool, send your emissary to me. But elsewhere, I think we all know what's going to happen, so... Yeah, I'm just going to defeat his arm armies off camera. And that is going to be episode 5. So it's not... It's the most boring episode so far, I think. Just a little bit fighting here. But the culture is going up. Um, and in not too long, we will definitely... Uh, be able to recruit units here and we do have these two forts so it's very much defendable and to be honest going for a rush against Mordor wouldn't be such a bad idea um, because they have the same culture and that's like our only real problem of course Mordor is very strong now uh, but the thing is if we declared war on them now they wouldn't really be able to bring in their allies like uh, Khan and Harab and such because they're not um, boarding us. So if we could take out these settlements before them, it could actually be a quite a nice situation for us. It would be in a lot of enemies though. But I think we are going to we're going to be victorious on this side because we have the money to fight on both sides we have two like we have three large armies on the field now and we're still making money and if we just hit the western coast of Gondor we should be able to make a lot of money as well Longalan is very profitable so I think that's the plan um, I'll have to see about more but we'll definitely consider it so I will end the episode there. Uh, if you want to support me uh, through Patreon, I have now a Patreon account, so you can just go in there and support me if you like. Uh, is there something else? No, and um, the vote for um, the new campaign is going down now. Um, so far, Gundabad is uh, in the lead, but we'll have to see what the result ends in. But I'm definitely looking forward to starting a new campaign. Um, aside Isengard, so that will be interesting. 
And that's probably it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you for the next episode.